Disclaimer. The views and opinions expressed in this episode are those of the GOAT, or the greatest of all Titos, and do not necessarily reflect the views or positions of all Titos or uncles around the world. Possibly a few, but definitely not all. You know what? There are things that we still use and we pay for here in 2023 that I think we should already start getting rid of. And it's because of two things, actually. Social media and the internet. Let's talk about that. Hey, kamusta? It's your Tito E-Boy, also known as the GOAT, or the greatest of all Titos, and welcome to the channel. Parang napapansin ko sa, like, the, techno- the old technology that we've been using ever since. Thanks to the internet, nagiging redundant na sila. And instead of keeping what's old, what's the tradition, or traditional, we should move forward and let go of the past. So I think I have like seven things that I can think of off the top of my head of what we should already stop using that we're actually paying for. I mean, for some of them or that we're actually paying for that we should already get rid of. What? I mean, let's face it, almost everyone has a phone, has a mobile phone. Um, mga bata, masyado naman, they're still too young to have their own phones anyway. Even in the man, pag may landline ka naman sa bahay, hindi mo rin naman masyado papagamit sa bata. Eh. So, yeah, we don't need landlines anymore. And with landlines, we also don't need fax machines anymore. Diba? Yun ang parang redundant na rin. The ability to text and the ability to call. So those four things. Why? Because of the internet. We have social media that we can uh, communicate and send messages to. Facebook Messenger, we have Viber, we have Telegram, uh, old school, you have WhatsApp, you have... Uh, but at least that the top four, at least almost any almost everybody has those. You right? have an account for each of those. And you can pretty well send files across those platforms. So do palang sa apat na yun. You, you can make video calls, you can make audio calls, you can send messages, SMS, or long form messages, or even video messages. So those four things pa lang eh, pwede nang tanggalin. And this is in connection to what uh, ABS-CBN is already doing. We, can, we should already also get rid of local TV and cable TV. Well, at least the technology, not necessarily the content, but the technology behind it. Because again, Internet. We have the we have the streaming platforms to to host it. So libre YouTube, YouTube. So yeah, the newspaper. Same The technology used to make newspapers, like the printing presses and the paper, and you know, we can get rid of all of that. Because you know, the same news outlets that print those newspapers they already have it online so i think we don't need that also just just off the top of my head those seven things if you have more leave it down in the comments below and and this is just you know wala lang. Para lang masabi lang kasi we already have the technology but i don't think anyone would want to get rid of that anytime soon actual paper money because of gcash because of paymaya and in other countries, because of mga tap to pay nila yung with uh, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, uh, with Apple Pay, the technology is already there. It's cheap. The technology is cheap. Uh, si si G Cash hindi mo lang kailangan ng physical na bank to open an account and have a debit card or a credit card. I don't know, I don't think people will want to get rid of money. I think it's going to be complicated. What if, for example, 
the streaming platform start like opening their own cinemas and the only people who have access to those cinemas are the paying subscribers I'm sure a lot of people would still want to go to a movie theater I have a friend he didn't want to be able to do it he didn't want to be able to be updated but he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a legal, loyal subscriber of mga streaming services. And you know, in a few months, there will be some streaming services. So, why spend an extra 300, 400, 500 peso, pesos for just a ticket for one person? Mga bata ngayon, kuhawa na manood ang sini kasi with an allowance. For them to be able to go out with their friends and watch a movie, Ang bawal na dapat at least 1,000 pesos to go to the mall. It is not even, it's not even yung mga high-end na mall. So, crazy. Mahal na kayong mga ano. So, di ba? Why not like a street, like example, yun nga. So like a lot of the streaming services like Amazon and Apple, they're, they're coming out with movies and then they start, they're saying it exclusive on cinemas. Why not come out with their own cinema? Which only their subscribers will have access to it. And, for, and now, it's time for our Tita Joke of the Day. Anong tawag sa alagang hayo na astik? Lupet! Bye-bye!